Slot machines are the most popular form of gambling in American casinos. You can usually find a few of these machines in any bar. The big casinos have hundreds of them in varying denominations. They sure are popular at the Wendover Nugget Hotel and Casino and the Red Garter Hotel and Casino. But how did these machines become so popular? To answer that question, we go all the way back to the 19th century. The very first precursor to the modern slot machines was called a trade stimulator. These machines had just one reel. The earliest one was developed by Edward McLaughlin in New York in 1876. It was called the guessing bank. The machine had a spinning dial with numbers on it. Players would guess which number the dial would stop on and then insert a coin. The coin caused the dial to spin and stop on one of the numbers. If the player had guessed the right number beforehand, they would get a prize. Trade stimulators were popular in the 1880s. Other gambling machines around this time were based on poker. In 1890, Frank Smith invented a machine to simulate poker. Poker slot machines had five reels that had 10 cards attached to each of them or cards painted onto them. When a player inserted a coin, the reels would spin and the player would win a prize if they got a winning poker hand. The first real slot machine was invented by John Lighton in Syracuse, New York in 1892. When a player inserted a coin, it went down one of two possible chutes. One chute led to the machine's cash box. The other chute would cause the coin to trip a lever that released two other coins. So the player would end up with three coins in total if they won. In San Francisco in 1893, inventor Gustav Schultz developed the automatic check machine. A player would pull a lever, which would cause a dial to spin on top of a colored wheel. If the dial landed on a winning color, it would cause a bell to ring. The player would get two coins, plus a random token that would be worth anywhere between 25 cents and $2. The man who can be called the grandfather of the modern slot machine is Charles Fay. He really hit it big with the invention of a slot machine that had three reels. Instead of using playing card symbols like the poker machines, Fay switched to icons like bells and stars. He manufactured his Liberty Bell machines between 1898 and 1905. However, Fay did not mass produce his machines. He only made them available around San Francisco. His shop was destroyed in the Great San Francisco Earthquake of 1906. Mills Novelty Company struck a deal with Faye to start producing the machines. In 1907, the company started producing the Mills Liberty Bell and distributing them all over the country. Slot machines faced much backlash in the first half of the 20th century. They were eventually banned in most of the country as states started cracking down on gambling. They even earned the nickname One-Armed Bandits because of their levers and propensity to take people's money. Eventually, gambling rules around the country eased and slot machines made their way back into bars and casinos. Up until the 1960s, slot machines had been purely mechanical, but in the early 60s they started becoming electromechanical and the levers were replaced by buttons. The Bally Manufacturing Company introduced the first electronic slot games in 1963. In 1976, the Fortune Coin Company introduced the first video slot machine. From this point, slot machines would continue to evolve with screens completely replacing reels. Freed from the need for reels, modern slot machines have a multitude of different games and some even have second screen abilities where players can play an additional game on another screen. At Wendover Resorts, we offer a large array of your favorite gaming machines. We have both video and real machines. Denominations range from pennies to $25. The entire floor is equipped with ticket in, ticket out technology and an automated player tracking system. Come to the Wendover Nugget Hotel and Casino and the Red Garter Hotel and Casino to play some slots and win big.